Hey beauties, welcome back. It's me, Lydia Marie. Welcome back to the channel. Today, you guys, we are talking all things Sephora sale. The Sephora sale starts in a week and a half. It's already 22nd of October. The Sephora sale starts on November the 1st. So today, I'm going to be giving you a quick video of some of my product recommendations. And these are products that I already own and love. And then I have written a blog post that is very detailed that is going to give you a breakdown of all of my recommendations for makeup, skincare, fragrance, and body care. I will link that in the description box below but for now let's go ahead and get into the sephora video all things sephora sale it is coming up in a week and a half get your carts ready get your cards ready and let's go shopping so the Sephora sale starts November 1st, 2024, and it goes through November the 11th, 2024. Um, if you are a Rouge member, you get first access, and that means you get 20% off your total order. You can start shopping on the 1st of November all the way through the 11th. If you are a VIB or a Beauty Insider, you can start shopping on November the 5th through the 11th. VIB, you get 15% off your total order. Beauty Insider, you get 10% off your total order, and anything at the Sephora collection is 30% off. If you are not a member of Sephora Insider yet, it is not too late. Highly encourage you to pause this video, go to Sephora, sign up for the Beauty Insider, and that way you can start building your tiers and this, the sale is a perfect time to do so. So first things first, make sure you're signed up for the Sephora Beauty Insider program. As usual, I always recommend shopping the items from the Sephora collection first because not only is it 30% off, a lot of the items will be marked down a little bit more in the collection collection and you can get some really really stellar products you guys know how hard I ride for the Sephora micro smooth powders these are currently $20 they'll be 30% off and these are great for finishing powders they're great to use as a setting powder under your eye I like to get a darker shade like this one I have called hazelnut and I like to use that as a bronzer or a contour highly suggest picking up a couple of these powders don't go and just get one get at least one that's your skin tone and one for brightening or one for contouring because Sephora has a tendency to discontinue items that people really really love and people really really love these micro smooth powders highly recommend and getting at least two or three of these another complexion product from Sephora that I've really been loving since I picked it up is the new reveal the real skin tint this is a very lightweight light coverage type of skin tint skin tint it gives you a nice radiant finish it's very lightweight this is for those who don't always want to wear makeup or full face like me I like to put this on for my every day errands type of look because it just really looks like your skin but better but it wears so well it's such a gorgeous skin product I will link the video down below because I did do a full review of this but for reference I have the shade 240p if you can before the sale I will dip into the store and kind of try out your shade because they have so many of these and I did not expect for me to be a pink undertone in this particular product I'm not normally a pink undertone I thought it stood for peach but it actually worked so I would go into the store if you can and try these but I really love this reveal the real skin tint from the Sephora collection it's $22 but it will be 30% off a few other things from the Sephora sale worth mentioning this will be my third bottle of the Sephora this is the super glow toner I got this last November during the sale I used it up I got another bottle during the spring sale and it's almost gone so I will be getting another bottle of this toner it's a glow toner it has some vitamin C and vitamin E in it but it's just very refreshing I like this in my morning skincare routine and I think this is like $16 I want to say very good I would definitely repurchase these also the Sephora collection lip liners and eyeliners are stellar I love these 12 hour gel lip uh, gel eyeliners the most and I have a brown one a gray one and I, this in the shade coconut I really like the shade coconut on my bottom waterline because it just gives me a nice pop of color but it's got a little bit of a beige it doesn't have any shimmer they do have shimmer eyeliners but I don't like shimmer eyeliner so I don't mess with those but I really like these and I really really love the lip pencils as well this one is in the shade dress to the 90s is this dress to the 90s no this is knock on wood 
I have dressed to the 90s back there, which is kind of like an orange is brown, but this is knock on wood. And then I have a super popular one, the shade Molasses, which is actually in my purse. But that one is a really good dupe. People love that one as a good dupe to MAC Chestnut. These will be 30% off. I love them. I would definitely be picking up a couple more. If you're a person who loves lip oils, I have three that I highly recommend. This one from Edem is E-A-D-E-M. It's kind of like a silver package and this is their lip softening balm and it comes in like four shades but I have the clear shade. What I love about this is the applicator because it's kind of cooling. It's not minty but when you apply it, it has a nice cooling effect. But this lip oil is so hydrating. It is a great lip oil, especially at night. Like when I go to bed after I do my skincare, I really like this. And this is almost empty. So I think I'm going to put another one in my cart and maybe try the brown one that they have. But all of these are really, really good. I got a chance to get a free um, LYS lip oil. This is the Speak Love a Glossy Lip Oil. This was given to me free at Sephora. But I've really been enjoying this lip oil as well. My mom wanted this one actually and I didn't let her have it, but I may get her one in the sale because it's really, really good. Also, we've heard a lot of chatter about the Topicals uh, Slick Salve. I really like this. If you like a glossy lip and a little thicker gloss, but it's still super hydrating, it's not so thick that it's irritating or anything for me. I really enjoy this Topicals. I would buy this one again, but if you're looking for another lip salve, lip balm, glossy lip situation that's also hydrating, I love this Topicals lip oil as well. So, Ami Cole is absolutely one of my favorite brands at Sephora. They are a black owned clean beauty brand, but they have some of the best blush sticks that you will ever use. I have three shades. I have the newest shade here. This is the pink one. And it is called da, 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 Pink Cell, P-I-N-K-S-E-L. I have that one. I have the shade Flame, which you can see is well worn because I love a red blush. I have this one. And then I have one called Spice. Yes, it's called Spice, and it's a nice brown one, but these are so pigmented that you can use them on your eyes, on your cheeks, and on your lips, so you get a lot of bang for your buck. I think these are only around $22, but if you want to try a good blush stick, these from Ami Cole are absolute perfection. I got a chance to tell her that at Sephora because the owner was there, and I told her, girl, you did something special with these blush sticks because they are bomb. Next up is some foundations. These are not new to my collection, but they've been holding me down. And I think I might get a backup of the House Labs because I am almost out of this foundation. You can see clear through the bottle. That's how much I have used and I'm scared that if I run out, I won't be able to get it again. So I might pick up another House Labs foundation. This is a great medium coverage, your skin but better type of foundation. It's won award after award after award and it is so good. Every time I wear it, I'm like, dang, why don't I wear this foundation enough? This is really good. And again, I'm looking at the bottle and I'm like, I can see through the bottle now. I may go ahead and pick me up another bottle of this foundation along with the concealer. The concealer is just mwah. And I have a brightening shade. I'll get to concealer next, but I do have a brightening shade of that. One that I've really been enjoying this summer is the Makeup Forever HD. This is the Hydra Skin. This is for the dry skin girlies like myself. I have dry skin. I have never been able to wear a Makeup Forever con uh, foundation until this one because it is very hydrating very very skin like and it has a lot of shades and undertones and lastly my NARS my NARS advanced light or light radiance light reflecting excuse me foundation this has been holding me down as well I love this foundation down every time I wear it I just look snatched so these are the three foundations that I recommend for the sale so talking about concealers, the more I've been wearing the Danessa Myricks Lift and Flex Concealer, the more I like it. It's great for an everyday type of touch-up concealer look. I have the shade 11, which is the shade I wear under, no, shade 11 is the shade that I use for touch-ups and I think shade 9 is the shade that I have for under my eyes but this is a really great hydrating concealer and every time I pick it up I'm like yeah I get it she did something with this one it's a really great concealer I think these are $30 it's a little small but you get a lot in here I really like this and again it's the sale so if you're looking to try something new I really do like the Danessa Myricks Lift and Flex Concealer I already said the House Labs and I'm looking at this too and this is almost empty 
do I have to buy two house lapse concealers this time? Oh my gosh, I hope not. But um, I'm buying, <laughs> this is the house lapse concealer. I really love this. It's just another way for your eyes to look so snatched. I mean, you just look like you you were painted on with this concealer. I just absolutely love it. It is a medium buildable concealer. Very nice skin like formula. I absolutely love it. And for my full coverage days, my Bobbi Brown has been holding me down. This is the Bobbi Brown Skin Full Coverage Concealer. I bought this last spring. I think I want to say I bought these in the spring and I have the shade Honey so so good very very good full coverage concealer it doesn't feel full coverage but it looks makes you look extremely snatched i love it moving on to some palettes y'all know how i feel about the danessa myris ground Real, groundwork blooming romance palette it's late i'm sorry but this one is my favorite i think i like this one over the neutral palette because as you can tell look it's very well worn um but i like it because even though it's mostly pinks and mauves it has some browns down here that you can play around with i really enjoy this palette i think if and these are permanent in the collection she has a lot of limited edition palettes like the new lightwork six i think is limited edition so if you want to get that one during the sephora sale or you can check her website for Black Friday because I do believe she has some really good sales for Black Friday. I can't say for certain if the new Lightwork palette would be on there for Black Friday sale. I don't know, but she does have some really good sales on her website directly. But if you want to pick up a palette just to try, I would recommend getting one of the Nessa Myrick's Groundworks palette, either the Groundwork Neutral or the Blooming Romance one, which has a lot of pinks, mauves, and things like that. I really like these because they don't have any shimmer. So you can use them on your face, on your lips, and you get a lot of bang for your buck because you can use them all over your face basically. So I like these. I would definitely get one of these if you are looking for an all-inclusive palette. So I treated myself early to a little birthday present and that was the Makeup by Mario Ethereal Eyes Moonlight Palette. This just came out I don't know, a couple of weeks ago. This is my very first Makeup by Mario palette. I've never tried a, an eyeshadow by them, but I wanted to try this one because I didn't have anything like this in my collection. This color really drew me in. I did not find these to be patchy or uh, muddy or anything. And for me, I judge an eyeshadow palette on how well do the mattes perform because a shimmer is a shimmer is a shimmer. But if the mattes are chalky and they don't blend well, I don't like it. I didn't have that problem with this palette. My only draw back with this for my hesitation is that I'm not normally a cool tone girl. I don't really do these types of browns. I'm a more warm tone girl but actually they work and I really really like it and I said so on my review on Sephora. <laughs> I don't have any qualms with saying if I do or don't like something especially when I'm spending $68 and this retails for $68 but it's limited edition. It's really really pretty. These ethereal type of shadows are really nice without being overly shimmery they are just absolutely gorgeous I like it if you're looking for it I would get it so here's a quick glimpse of my card as you can see I have like the we the people that body serum in there I really want to try that I've been wanting to try that for quite some time um, something else that I have in there what else do I have it is the Fenty Butter Drop Lotion. I really want to try that. I've heard nothing but good things about that. I love the original scent of the Fenty Butter Drop Body Cream. Love it. I don't like the holiday scents that she released. They're a little too sweetie or something for me. It's the Fenty Skin Butter Drop Hydrating Milk. I do have a few more. Oh, I have the Necessary Body um, Necessary Body Wash Trio in my cart. Um, I do have this Killian Love Don't Be Shy. I've been wanting to try that for a while. I smelled it in the store. It smells really good, but I said I was going to wait to the sale to get it. I do have some Sephora Collection eyeshadows in there. They're always $8 normally, but at the sale, they'll be 30% off. And just that, so I'm trying to figure out why is my cart so expensive, girl? This is why I load up my cart as to the brim, like put everything that I want in there, and then before I shop, I pare down significantly so we'll see what I end up with when I come back with the Sephora haul <laughs> so if you made it this far in the video go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up I would truly appreciate it again I will leave the link to my blog post in the description box because that is where I have everything detailed about what I recommend from makeup skincare fragrance and even some body care products in there I also have a post of some of my top products from Sephora that are under $25 that 
I highly recommend you shop during the sale as well. I will leave that link down below and that will be far more detailed than this video is because I couldn't squeeze everything in. Some of the things are my favorite. Like I said, I already have so much from Sephora and just from shopping over the year that I don't need a ton, but I do want to try a few new things. So let me know down below what your card is looking like and stay tuned for when I do place my order coming back for the haul. Thanks again for watching you guys. I'll see you back here for my next video real, real soon. Bye.